What happened in this K? We back in this thing. K okay, so good. They sleep with a cut off the throne. You know the little nigga want to turn it. Aye, aye, aye. We here to talk about some shit with Mr. Mika Duffy himself. Meek Mill and apparently. Apparently he talk about the sales about his little album. Expensive Pain. I think it was what it was called. Expensive Pain. I thought it was Emotional Pain. I titled that bullshit wrong. I probably said it wrong in the fucking video as well. But I was talking about Expensive Pain. It is that subpar that I forgot the name. Okay? Anyways. I talk about this shit real quick. Now. Follow that. Like, subscribe. Help your boy. Help your boy. Girl, you know what it is. You know I'm the kid. You know I talk my shit. Anyway, yeah. Like, subscribe. Post notifications. All that. Okay, so good. He sleep with a cut up a throne. You know the little nigga on the tongue. But yeah. So we need to talk about it. So Meek Mill addresses expensive pain numbers wants to be taken off billboard charts. Cause your ass didn't sell that well. But anyways, we're gonna continue. If Jay Z talking about he don't believe billboard, he been in the game for thirty years, said me. Regardless of the number, Meek Mill's part of ex expensive pain. He has gone on record to say that his his most recent his most recent released record was better than his 2018 championships in his in his eyes we gonna get to it we gonna talk his shit and expensive pain went on to debut at number three on the billboard chart the album is said to have moved 95,000 uh, equivalent album units a drastic contrast from championships is 229,000 units moved by the way billboard only cares about the first week so i know like a lot of people be like flops and all that shit but they could real cool and get their money back i remember when um a boogie didn't do crazy his opening uh week right but after a while like he was going brazy and the album was living on billboard for a while but anyways there are artists who would love to accomplish those numbers yeah to be honest fair there would be artists that would love to uh, like fucking accomplish those numbers but meek mill isn't concerned with where he lands on billboard so i guess this is a quote from meek even before my album came out, they said it sold 90,000. I don't know if they said that's good or bad. But if we walk outside right now, you're going to hear that shit booming from Maine to Spain. No, no we not, Meek. <laughs> meek, no we, not, no, we not, Meek. Okay, he told Complex. He was asked if he cares about where he debuts on the Billboard charts. And it is clear that securing the top spots are the least of his worries. Another quote from me. Me, I'd rather take me off Billboard, said Meek. You gotta think about it. What is the purpose of me being on Billboard? If Jay-Z talking about he don't believe Billboard, he has been in the game for 30 years. Why should I put myself in the position to be where they say allegedly something is being manipulated? And then I'm putting my brand on a list that's being manipulated. He clarifies that he isn't specifically stating that Billboard charts are skewed. But he added, Billboard is not part of my marketing scheme. And watch the clip of the full interview below. Now, let me break it down a little bit. Now, Meek is not wrong. We should not put everything into Billboard. Now, if Billboard said fucking, fucking uh, Jebediah Smith had the number one album, it doesn't mean I want to go listen to this shit. I don't give a fuck about Jebediah Smith. Until I hear some music that, oh, this sounds good. Let me go check out this album. Just you being number one doesn't mean your album is the best. Like I said, there used to be fucking merch bundles and ticket sale bundles that would increase album sales and make shit go up. Right before my black kids was rudely, rudely interrupted. What I was saying was, yeah, Billboard ain't the end all be all. As we seen artists was coming out and they was um, putting their ticket sales and including it with an album bundle their merch sales with an album bundle doing all this shit famously we see Nicki Minaj beef with Travis Scott over there with his Astro World bundles and the ticket sales and all the issues he was doing and DJ Khaled when they didn't count some of the bundles he was doing with his album so his album could be number one and Tyler is Igor beat him and he was talking this shit even though that album was not the greatest album it was kind of trash but to each his own but anyways, like I was saying, so we've seen it out of time. So Meek is right about that. It is not the end all be all. It does not mean that your album is trash and you don't have good music, a good collection of songs, your shit. Shit, Young Thug, for how popular and influential he is, I don't think, besides the collaborative tapes, he has gone over 100k units sold or moved, whatever the fuck you want to say. By the way, I think these rappers like this number shit because like, um, I think these niggas feel like they Pablo Escobar so if a nigga's like, yo, I, I sold that many units, yo. I was slanging that much dope. Like, I feel like they be just like, thinking about drugs if they was moving that much. But anyways, 
what I was saying, right? With that being said, like, it ain't the end all be on. Like me said, for me to do, like, I think he did, like, what, 90 something? A lot of artists would love to do that. There's some artists doing 40, 30, 20. A lot of people would like to get 90. Like, it's not bad. It's just that with the caliber of Meek's artists from going over, being over to sell more than 100K, and then you doing 90K, it's like, bro, what the fuck's happening? You kind of falling off a bit. And yeah, sure, Jay-Z doesn't care about that. He's like, oh, well, if Jay-Z doesn't care about that, why should I care about it? That's like saying, bro. Bro, that's like saying, like, yo, Michael Jordan likes Jordans. Why can't I like Jordans? It's just a fucking oxymoron, nigga. Do you care? You could just say, do you care about this shit or not? You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you are your own individual. Don't compare your essence to nobody else. I just feel like you was just trying to get out of that conversation you was having and just trying to say some shit. But regardless of that, like I am saying, like, it's just, it is what it is. Do I, did I personally like this project? No. Him saying this is better than championships, I don't know what the fuck is going on. Championships was way better than this. So just musically and, and like song wise and just sonically just sounded better. Like like I was saying in the review, a lot of this shit sounds like some dirt. Like when you're especially crooning and trying to go high like high pitch on a song with thug, I'm just like me, this ain't you, what the fuck is he doing? Now yes, experiment, play around with your sound, try to change it, change your vocal inflections. Yes, that's part of music. Everybody does it, but like for a screaming Philly nigga who is like this is your ilk, this is what we like from you, it's like, bro, what the fuck is you doing? Like, it's just so weird. Like, what the fuck was he doing? Again, I'm not saying you can never experiment and try new things, but, like, bro, some of this shit, I was just like, what? Like, you know, On My Soul really sounds like a little dirt song. I'm not going to lie to you. It sounds like a little dirt song. Even the intro, like, Meek is the king of intros. I was just like, this is so par. With all the intros Meek Mill has done from his albums to the Dream Chasers mixtapes and so on and so forth. This was such a subpar intro. What was this? But anyways, that's all I gotta say. But he has some points in his interview. I'm not here to knock it, but at the same time, my nigga, you kind of flopped. Compared to where you was at when you dropped championships, and I know 2018 to now, that shit is different. Niggas ain't splurging like that. It is what it is, you know. Bundles were a thing. I get it. But... Come on, my G. Something's afoot. This was not a great body of work. There was a couple good songs, but a body of work in general, it was not a great body of work. It was what it was. I hated that you fucked up Blue Notes too, by the way. Come on. That's why I got this little bright ass blue ass t-shirt I be wearing. God. Bro, that, that was my shit. You had to fuck it up a part two. Shout out Uzi, though. Uzi was kind of vibing on that motherfucker. I be like, eh. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? I be vibing on that bitch. You hear me? But yeah, yeah, man, it is what it is at the end of the day, and we'll see what the fuck happens on Meek. Like I said, man, DC Five, my nigga, don't fuck that shit on, please, please me, please, please me. We'll see what happens. Hopefully, hey, if you're trying to be a mogul and grow your like um roster for artists, do that. We'll see what the fuck happens with that. All we know is Vory. I know. I don't know if you still have ties with O'Malley or whatever the fuck going on with that situation, but we'll see. Hey, my nigga Osama Twin Lava. Bro, that name. <laughs> I'm done. I ain't need to try to make jokes on niggas, but hey, I'm off for this time. Hey, Meek, man. We'll see what happens, man. We'll see what happens. This was not my favorite tape by you. I can say that. You know. And this might be worse than Dreams Worth More Than Money to me. It might be worse than dreams worth more than money. And I hate not hate it, but I felt like this shit was too pop. You was chasing some shit with this one. But yeah, man. That's all I'm gonna say about this shit, man. But I'm off of this. What do you think? Do you did you really enjoy Expensive Pain or did you think it was subpar compared to all the other albums and mixtapes he has put out? But yeah, man. Imagine we got that Nipsey Hustle Meat Mill like tape. How the fuck that would sound? But anyways, enough of that being said. I'm off of this thing. You already know what it is. Like, subscribe, help your boy, help your boy grow. Post notifications. Check out all the other videos I got on the page. Check out the links in the description. You already know what it is. Leave the comments below. I think I said that already. But this has been your friendly neighbor, KA, signing off for today. Shlam Zoom, peace, y'all. I was gone. Aye.